The Formula One driver market can be volatile at any time, but usually the action involves people switching teams between seasons. That's not always the case though. Sometimes things move on at such pace that changes have to happen while a season is still going on, and we've dug out 10 examples of when these moves happened. Which mid-season switches would make your list, and who would be your number one? Number 10, Giancarlo Fisichella, Force India to Ferrari, 2009. Giancarlo Fisichella's days of driving for a big team in F1 seemed well behind him when he took a stunning, unexpected pole position for Force India at the Belgian Grand Prix. While he was unable to convert that into victory, finishing second to Kimi Raikkonen, the performance earned him a call-up to drive alongside the Finn at Ferrari for the rest of the season. Ferrari had initially brought in test driver Luca Badoa to stand in for the injured Felipe Massa, but after two hopeless outings in the admittedly difficult Ferrari F60, one Italian was dropped for another and Fisichella saw out the season. Fisichella also struggled to get on with the car, never qualifying better than 14th and failing to score any points. He apologised to Ferrari at the end of the season, saying he'd not really shown his worth, and highlighted the difficulty in getting the car to work over a single lap. His F1 career was over at this stage, but he has enjoyed a long and successful career in GT racing with Ferrari in the years since. Number 9. Justin Wilson, Minardi to Jaguar, 2003 Justin Wilson was just 11 races into his rookie F1 season with Minardi when Jaguar snapped him up as a replacement to the underperforming Antonio Pizzonia once it had been able to check that lanky Brit would fit into its car. Wilson retired from his first three races with Jaguar but managed to score a point next time out at Indianapolis. Unfortunately, it would be the only point of his career as Jaguar decided to replace him with Red Bull backed Christian Clean for 2004. Still, only being in F1 for one season and managing to drive for two teams is an achievement worthy of this list. Number 8. Carlos Sainz Jr. Toro Rosso to Renault 2017 It would be easy to flood this list with in-season Red Bull driver swaps and one major switch has made the cut higher up. But Carlos Sainz Jr. leaving Toro Rosso to take Julian Palmer's place at Renault was a Red Bull driver change with a difference. Sainz was into his third season as a Toro Rosso driver and wondering if the call to move up with Red Bull was ever going to come when Renault offered him a step up the grid for 2018. The move was announced as a loan from Red Bull and the switch was brought forward to include the final four races of 2017 when Renault ran out of patience with Palmer. Sainz never got his shot with Red Bull, eventually being released entirely to pursue a career at McLaren when Pierre Gasly was chosen to replace Daniel Ricciardo for 2019. Science's performances in Orange earned him a drive with Ferrari for 2021. Number 7. Mika Salo, BAR to Ferrari, 1999. This is a slightly quirky one as Mika Salo didn't move directly from one team to another. He started 1999 on the sidelines after losing his Arrows drive a week before the season but that set him up for a memorable year as F1's super sub. Salo made three starts for BAR early in the year, filling in for the injured Ricardo Zonta and taking the team's first race finishes in a troubled debut campaign. He was retained by BAR as reserve driver when Zonta returned, a deal he then had to buy himself out of when Michael Schumacher broke his leg at the British Grand Prix and Ferrari called on Salo to replace him. Salo famously gave up victory in the German Grand Prix to help Eddie Irvine's championship challenge and stood on the podium again at Monza in front of the Tifosi in his penultimate start for the team. Number 6. Jean Alesi, Prost to Jordan 2001 Jean Alesi was a Jordan driver at both ends of his F1 career. He won the F3000 title with the team in 1989 alongside breaking into F1 with Tyrrell then retired in 2001 after starting his final five races for Jordan. That came following a mid-season move from Prost, which was struggling financially and would fold after the 2001 season. Jordan pounced for Alacy when it decided to drop the underperforming Heinz Harold Frentzen, who Eddie Jordan believed was struggling to deal with Jarno Trulli's qualifying pace. There were also concerns that a heavy crash in Monaco had affected Frentzen more than he was letting on. Frentzen went to Prost, and Alacy saw out his 201 race F1 career 
driving for the man that helped him get his debut 12 years earlier. Number 5. Roberto Moreno, Euro to Benetton 1990. Roberto Moreno had failed to qualify for 12 out of 14 races in 1990 with Eurobrun when he got the biggest chance of his F1 career with Benetton. Alessandro Nanini's horrific helicopter accident curtailed his F1 career with two races to go in 1990, and Benetton opted to place Moreno alongside Nelson Piquet to create an all-Brazilian lineup. Remarkably, Moreno finished second to Piquet on his first start with Benetton in the Japanese Grand Prix, a result that is often forgotten against the backdrop of Ayrton Senna wiping out Alain Prost at the start. It was a phenomenal career turnaround for Moreno in what was only his ninth start in F1 from 34 attempts. He kept the drive for 1991, but lost it in another famous driver swap with a certain Michael Schumacher, which you can hear a lot more about in our Crazy Contract Stories video. Number 4. John Surtees, Ferrari to Cooper, 1966. John Surtees is the only driver on this list to win races for two teams in the same season. The 1964 world champions split with Ferrari two races into 1966 when an already strained relationship reached breaking point with a row over who should start the Le Mans 24 hours. Surtees final Grand Prix for Ferrari was a memorable victory at Spa that he ranked as his best drive and he completed the campaign driving for Cooper. He was on the podium in every race he finished over the rest of the season, winning the finale in Mexico to clinch second in the championship. Years later, he would reflect that his falling out with Ferrari cost both sides at least a couple of titles. Number 3. Jarno Trulli, Renault to Toyota, 2004. We're firmly into the territory of the remarkable stories now, and Jarno Trulli's 2004 season fits that bill. Trulli started the year outperforming Fernando Alonso at Renault and took his maiden F1 victory in Monaco making him the only driver other than Michael Schumacher to win one of the first 13 races that season. Yet before the year was out, he was fired by Renault as the team felt his performances were one of the key reasons it had fallen behind BAR in the battle for second in the championship. Flavio Briatore was not impressed when Trulli was caught napping at the end of the French Grand Prix and lost a podium finish to Rubens Barrichello, and by the time of the Italian Grand Prix, the relationship had broken down entirely. Trulli completed his final race for Renault at Monza without speaking on the radio, and after he was dismissed, Jacques Villeneuve came in for the final three races. Trulli immediately concluded negotiations with Toyota for 2005 following his release, and made an early start with the team for the final two races of 2004. Trulli is also high on our list because this was the second time he switched teams mid-season. In 1997, he moved from Minardi to Prost as a rookie, after Olivier Panis broke his legs in a crash at the Canadian Grand Prix. Number 2. Max Verstappen, Toro Rosso to Red Bull, 2016. Max Verstappen's swap with Daniel Kvyat in early 2016 had to place highly on this list, as it's the only example of a driver switching teams and winning first time out. Verstappen capitalised on Mercedes drivers Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg colliding on the opening lap of the Spanish Grand Prix and having a better strategy than teammate Daniel Ricciardo to win on his debut for Red Bull. But it wasn't an easy win, and he had to resist pressure for 30 laps from the Ferrari of Kimi Raikkonen to take the first win of his F1 career and justify Red Bull's decision to somewhat harshly demote Kvyat so early in the season. Number 1. Johnny Herbert, 1989 and 1994. Herbert doesn't top our list because of the successes he had when he switched teams, but because he did it twice, and on the second occasion he managed to drive for three teams in three consecutive races. In his debut season in 1989, Herbert was still suffering with his injuries from a nasty Formula 3000 crash at Brands Hatch the year before. He scored points first time out in Brazil with Benetton, but after six races he was stood down having failed to qualify for the Canadian Grand Prix. He returned later in the year to make two appearances with Tyrrell, filling in for Jean Alesi who had clashing commitments en route to the F3000 title. After making a handful of starts for Lotus in 1990 and 91, Herbert joined the team full-time from 92, staying on until it hit financial trouble late in 1994. After a miserable season as Lotus floundered before folding, 
Herbert was able to get out of his long-term contract before the end of the year. He switched to Ligier for one race at Jerez, then joined Benetton next time out at Suzuka alongside Michael Schumacher. In the space of three races, Herbert went from a team that was about to die to one that was about to win its first world championship, and the following season he won two races to help Benetton to its only constructor's crown. Which drivers switching teams mid-season were your favourites over the years? Let us know in the comments below and remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel.